And welcome back, guys. So, we're on the next wipe with the group so far. So far, group is worth being part of. Uh, usually I play solo. Usually I do T and do T farms every wipe. And uh, this wipe, um, there's this one guy called Asgard. And I met him during the purge of the last wipe. Seemed like a decent dude. I'm like, oh yeah, you should come join us for a team. I just have to wait for the teammates to approve it. And I'm really glad he showed his toxic behavior now than us agreeing if he should be part of the team. So what happened with this one player? So I told him that I was going to be making a 10 by 10 farm. Specifically for making teas. Alright, that's usually not a problem, right? All right, well, what is the problem? So the problem here is he epically failed at raiding a clan base. And I don't know if he's pissed at me about that. I told him straight up I'm not a PvPer. He was aware that I was going to make a 10x farm, a 10 by 10 farm. And the, the point I'm making here is I spent 24 hours to get the 10 by 10 up and running. I got the prices for the teas all set up for a hundred, and I got the teas out first. Therefore, I get to set the price. Usually, that's what how that the server works. Whoever comes out with the item first, they set the price. All right, so it's fine for that day. Next day, I log in. He's got his teas set to 125 scrap, and I look at him like, dude, what the fuck? Match my price. Ah, I came out with the prices first. You're undercutting me. No, I came out with them first. But if we want to make it more on a personal level, I'll be more than happy to record video of me setting the price first on the map and show that you're in the wrong. And he literally just flipped the lid after that. Like, dude, don't be a dick and everyone will get along just fine. Anyways, so I talked about my farm almost being fully operational. At this point, I get 6,000 plants gathered an hour on this thing. And then I'll, I get close to 26,000 cloth out of this farm in its current working capacity. And I don't really want to add on to it, like finish it off, because I'm worried that it'll start lagging the server. Now, there are no rules on how many planters you can have, so really I'm not in the wrong here. Uh, the point here is I'm just a little pissed at this Asgard guy for undercutting the prices. Not only undercutting my prices of 100 scrap, after he realized that I was selling teas for 100 scrap, he started selling his for 50. And then he dropped it down to 30. And I, I will not go lower than 50 at this point. And he finally met, went back to a normal price. But the point is, he started a lot of unnecessary bullshit for no reason. That's the point. He literally came over to the base with another clan member from MMM complaining, don't make your farm any bigger. You don't want to be responsible for, you know, them putting a limit on planters who can't do you. And I looked at him like, go play the fucking game. You ain't coming over here to start shit and I fucking muted in-game voices and they're sitting there talking to a window. <laughs> but it, it just kind of get the idea. Why are you starting shit on a fucking roleplay server that's supposed to be PvE? You're supposed to be getting people to want to buy from your shop, therefore it encourages people to want to stay at RP towns. Then it encourages people to roleplay. Like, this guy completely did the fucking opposite of, Hey, let me just undercut all everyone's prices, ruin the economy, and then no one was going to want to buy anything. And he broke the golden rule where he sold the god clones. The only reason I'm selling my god clones because I'm selling them um, for the same price he is. You know? But the point here is you never ever sell the god clones. God clones are G grow, 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 which is GGG. And 
YYY, which is yield, yield, yield. He's got four G's in his and two Y's, meaning they'll grow faster, but they'll produce less yield. But anyways, uh, apparently I'm not allowed to sell mine for cheaper. You, you kind of get the idea. He's being very manipulated in pricing, basically. But anyways, do you see the point here? You know, why are you selling teas when you know there are two groups that always match each other prices and you're undercutting people? Like, you really think that's going to work? It doesn't matter about your local location. If you're going to be a dick, no one's going to want to buy from someone being a dick. <laughs> you know? Like, uh, trying to encourage ideas here for them, I suggested, oh, try doing an admin event. And I'll making sure it's worth people's t time. And I'll bring people to want to role play more. It's a couple different ways to do it. And I, I suggested little things. I don't know if I like that the server is a 3x currently. I think it's too easy to get components. I think it's too easy to get resources. Like I can just go chop down like three or four trees with the tree, uh, the tree skill per plug that they have. And to sell it at the little admin shop and trade in the wood for stone. So you kind of see what's going on with that is, and the only thing it's kind of difficult to get is high coal. Uh, I do not like what they did to the tool cabinet, where they lowered the stack from 15k to 5,000 stack size. Uh, their answer was, "Oh, go ahead and do more industrial confiners." Why the fuck would I do that when I know that lags the server because it counts as electricity? Well, people are abusing this whole cabinet. No, the tool cabinet was fine. You chose to make a change because you thought it was being abused. And sad reality is, in order to maintain big bases, you need to be able to have decent stack size of resources in your tool cabinet. So... Otherwise speaking, did you just admit that you decreased it from 15k down to 5,000 to try to prevent big bases from building on the server? That's not going to stop them. They're just going to add multiple tool cabinets. <laughs> or they're just going to leave the server entirely, and that doesn't solve the problem. <laughs> you know... In order for me to an RP town, the first time I got here, I probably used like 24 individual tool cabinets. And I have a video on here on the channel somewhere that shows that I have a bunch of tool cabinets. It fully lights up at night. And, you know, it's, you know, I'm not, never going to be able to build, rebuild something like that as long as they keep fucking around with the tool cabinet stack sizes, you know. 15,000 was, 15k was worth doing an RP town. Uh, as you can see, I've started doing an RP town here, and you'll notice that I'm using multiple tool cabinets because it's the only way to maintain all this. So we got our heli tower there. Uh, we've got the furnace base, we got the auto smelters here. We're currently making tons of charcoal. And the fastest way to make charcoal is from oil burners. And here's a good way of saying laggy, kind of. Um, we've got the auto-sorting system. From what I can tell, it doesn't lag. But I can imagine if a clan base had a bunch of these going to multiple tool cabinets, filling it with resources, it could get pretty laggy. If people were complaining, oh, you have too many lights in your base. Yeah, I could see that being too laggy. So yet again, that was a stupid decision on their part to go, oh, just use industrial combiners. Okay, so other speaking, you're asking me to lag the server more? That didn't seem very common sense. Anyways, it was their decision. I, I don't think I like the owner of the server. Uh, from what I was told from the teammates, he kind of said in the general chat, it's my server, I'll do what I want. And I'm like, I, I, I don't think I like the owner of the server, but I like how the server runs. So it's kind of a mixed signal situation where... 
I, I like the server, I would like to remain on the server, but I kind of don't want to remain on the server based on how the owner was being kind of a toxic. Now we understand why the server was really Des Dornell. And when an owner of a Rust server comes in and basically says, oh, he doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, that's a great way to kill your server. Only reason it's popular, you got a couple popular YouTubers on here. Pretty sure if the popular YouTubers left, yeah, the server wouldn't be around much longer. Not trying to start you, just physically saying it. So here we are, we have our farm base here. I'm only using half of it currently. Uh, currently having a problem with over wiring the planters. And honestly, I don't think it's a good idea for me to wire up the rest of this with like sprinklers and shit. Because one, just having this much filled with berries was overfilling three boxes of berries. So I don't think it's a good idea to add more sprinklers to this. Because then, you know, if people. No. Uh, I haven't had any people complain about the farm lagging the server yet, but it's only a matter of time before that one person goes out of their way to start shit. Um, when I was working on my farm, this Asgard guy and like another member from MM came over here and it's like, Hey, don't make your farm any bigger. You don't want them to put a limit on planters. And I'm like, dude, we didn't have a problem until you started doing teas. You're undercutting everyone's prices, and you really think this is going to make you look any better. You really think people are going to buy from you. No, no one wants to have anything to do with people being a dick. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much what happened. He'd be over here talking, oh, I want to sell teas, all this. And I'm like, dude, at this point, I don't like your behavior. You can politely go fuck yourself, you know. I basically said to him, I basically said, you know what? You don't need to be part of our team. We don't like your toxic behavior. You, you get the idea. I basically told him, no, nope, you can take your shit somewhere else. Leave the Discord server by. <laughs> well, would you want someone on your team, in your group, that's undercutting your prices and they know that you're going to make a 10 by 10 farm? Fuck no. So you just kind of see it from my perspective. You see it from, you know, the guy's just going out of his way to be dick this way for some reason. Don't know why. So we got RP house shop over there. We got pumpkins over there. But yeah, that's a basic update. Regarding the RP houses, I'm waiting for this one house to sell currently. Uh, why am I waiting for this one house to sell currently? Because if that house sells, then I have a reason to build another one. It tells me that it's worth doing an RP town. But yet again, we are in a snow biome. So, you know, you see the problem here is it's cold out here. But it was the only real flat spot to build a nice looking RP town. So it's, you know, kind of rocking the hard spot to see there build on unflat land it looks like shit or build on flat land and it looks eh, all right and I, it's kind of rocking a hard spot um, so this is what it's looking like here we picked the build around d1 d2 e2 unfortunately there's a cave here so this really screws up the plans i didn't realize this was a cave um, it's very convenient you're next to smoil Small oil, arctic, and the, you got the airfield, the quarry, gas station, dome. You've got large oil, underwater labs, research station, which this is an evil place. It's got snipers everywhere. And it's in a good farm location. So I'm just surprised that the RP houses are not selling. Uh, here's that guy's shop. He's being a douchebag. And as you can see, he broke the golden rule. Never sell your god clones. What happens when you sell your god clones? People that actually have the intelligence to actually set up their own farm will set up their own farm and not have to buy from you to buy your teas. Well, that's an idiot right there. Um, my teas were at 100. 
he put his out at 125. Then he realized I was selling mine for 100. Accused me of undercutting his prices. Then we start doing the war of who can sell it for cheaper. He started that, not me. I had agreement with MMM, the clan that usually produces teas on the server, that we'd keep the price at 100, not 50. So I've matched his price to 50. I'm not going up or down from 50. If he's going to be a douchebag, let him be a douchebag. But yeah, he's looking kind of desperate over there trying to sell teas for scrap. And from what I'm noticing is it's not worth trying to sell your teas for scrap at this point because no one's buying it with scrap. It's better off to sell off your teas with like wood or stone that you want in return and things like that at this point than scrap. Uh, I believe next wipe is a BP wipe and uh, RP point wipe as well. So I don't really see the point of saving scrap. So you kind of see what's going on here is I'm going to guess he's trying to tech tree out. I just don't see the point of tech treeing out when you're going to lose it all in the next upcoming wipe anyway. So you kind of see my point of view. I'm just like, eh. Hmm. But yeah, so far, this is the only person I've had a problem with on the server so far. Hadn't haven't haven't had any problems with anyone else. Uh, you know, didn't like the stack sizes for the tool cabinet. It's highlighting what I don't like. I don't like this guy. He's being a freaking freaking prick. <laughs> I get it. Trust. You're supposed to be. You know, it's a toxic game. But on the server, you're like all the tea farmers and shop owners that sell things. If you're going to sell something in your shop and someone's already come out with a price first, you're supposed to match their price, not sit there and undercut them. Undercutting a uh, another shop owner is a toxic behavior. So you kind of see what's going on there. Uh, let's see here. And I'm surprised the admins are not using that as a way to weed out toxic people. But Um, don't like that the server's a 3x. I think it's too easy to get stuff. And those are only the real complaints. Map's a little small. I would prefer it to be a little bigger where, you know, the node spawn rate's a little higher. And that, you know, it's just a little more spread out. But it is what it is for this wipe. It's not going to change, so... Oh yeah, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. Hopefully everyone like my update regarding me playing Rust for this current wipe here. Hope everyone enjoyed seeing what the bases are looking like. This is the server I'm currently playing on. And I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed me talking about what I was liking this wipe and what I'm not liking. How the base is looking, how it's progressing. And make sure you hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.